Before we get going with the geometry, we're going to start off with a little geography. What state is this? That's right, it's the great state of New Hampshire, and I want to thank Team New Hampshire for hooking me up with this shirt for today's lesson. It's also got a little math on the back. But you're going to have to check out the activity sheet to see what that is all about. Because today we're going to talk geometry. We've got a couple problems off of the state competition here in 2010, a couple geometry problems, and I'm going to use these to teach you a super secret skill that all we master geometers have. Now, it's not super secret because we don't like sharing. It's super secret because it's a skill that we're kind of don't like talking about very much. And to help explain this, to help demonstrate this, I've got a, I've got a very good friend of mine. He's, he's the one who first taught me how to use my imagination in geometry problems. So, Harvey, if you could come over here. Harvey? Yeah, come over here. This is Harvey. He, he, taught, me, he taught me this special, special skill. I'm, I'm talking to the students, Harvey. Look, I know you can't see them. They're, they're over there. They, they can see us. They can hear us. Say hi to Harvey. Say hi. To... Thanks. They, they can hear us. I, I know you can't see them, Harvey. They're right over there. They're... Harvey. Ha ha Har Harvey. Come, 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 come back, Harvey. Okay. Okay. They're right over... Just say hi to the students. That way, Harvey. They're, they're that way. Okay. All right. We're going to do... Look, we're going to do some geometry. Okay? Do some geometry. All right, so we'll do some geometry. Yeah, we're going to do your favorite skill. Your favorite skill, Harvey. We're going to do it right here. Yeah, that, that's the one. Seeing things that aren't there. All right, we're going to do that on this prop. Yes, Harvey, seeing things that aren't there, like the students. Okay, here we go. So here's our first problem. First problem, we have three circles here, and we have a band wrapped tightly around them. Band goes all the way around, straight on the edges and then it goes around the curves of the circles. And each of the circles, these circles, each one has radius 10. And the question is to find the length of the band. Yes, Harvey, that's that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I see them too. Yeah. Harvey Harvey's saying he, he sees an equilateral triangle and then he sees three rectangles. Do you see them? Yeah, equilateral equilateral triangle. That's right. That's right, Harvey. I said equilateral. Harvey. We'll do the problem. Alright. You see them? Equilateral triangle. Three rectangles. Now do you see them? When I see circles and tangents, I see the radii to those tangents. And when I see circles that touch, I see the lines that connect their centers. And when we add those in here, we see an equilateral triangle, and we see these, we build these three rectangles out here. Now, the triangle tells us what the length of the straight parts of the bands are. Because this is a rectangle, this length equals this length, this length equals this length, this length equals this length. So the straight parts of the bands, their lengths all add up to the perimeter of this triangle. Now, because the radius of each circle is 10, our triangle, each side is two of these radii. So all three sides of the triangle add up to six radii, which is 60. So that takes care of the straight parts. Yes, 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 yes. I know, Harvey. Yeah, we got to do... We'll do the curved parts now. We've got to do the curved parts. All right, so we still have to take care of this and this and this. And we could, you know, figure out what this angle is, figure out what this arc is. But there's something much more clever. Something much more... Go ahead and show them, Harvey. Yeah, that's right. See? See? Yeah, we just push these curved parts together, just like Harvey did just there. You push these three curved parts together, and that makes a single circle. So these three curved parts together make just one circle with radius 10. And we know how to find the circumference of... Oh, you don't buy that. The students, Harvey. The, the students said something. Harvey, bear with me. We'll get to the other problem in just a minute. So, if you don't quite see how these circles get pushed together to form a circle, you know, you don't quite trust what Harvey just did right there, well, think about it this way. Imagine you're walking along the band. You're walking along, you're walking along, you get here, and you're going to go on the curve, you're going to curve around this way. And you're going to walk straight, you're going to stay pointing in that direction, you're going to curve, you're going to point this way. You're going to come 
straight down this, and you're going to curve, and you're going to point back the same way you were pointing before. You've done a full 360, and you're always walking around a circle the same radius. So you're going to do a full 360 around a circle with radius 10. A circle with radius 10 has diameter 20, has circumference 20 pi. And that problem is finished. Yes, we're going to move over to this problem now, Harvey. So let's take a look at this one. In this problem, we're given coordinate axes, we're given a square, and we're told that this coordinate is 10, 0, and we're given an isosceles triangle, and we're told that the base of this triangle and the height of this triangle are the same as the base and the height of the square. And we connect this vertex of the square to this vertex of the isosceles triangle, and then we color this green. And our goal is to find the area of the green triangle. We went ahead and marked these two side lengths as 10, because we know that they're equal. Now, set up on the coordinate plane, it's obvious what we do, right? We go ahead, we've got one base of the triangle, all we need to do is find the height, that's just the y coordinate of this point. So we can find the equation of this line, find the equation of that line, figure out where they intersect, and we've got our height. And that will take forever. Yeah, 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 I think it's pretty silly too, Harvey. So we don't want to do that, because, you know, that's right, that's right, Harvey. He's calling me lazy. I prefer to call it being clever, but, I mean, who are we kidding? We like being lazy when we can get away with it. So let's be clever and see if we can solve this problem by seeing something that's not there. Now, we want the height of this triangle. We want the height. And one way to learn more about a triangle is to relate it to other triangles. Try to find congruent triangles. Try to find similar triangles. You see one? See any similar triangles? There are a few there, but it's one that you don't see there unless you have our super secret skill that makes the problem easy. Now this is, this is an example of two different things we like seeing that aren't there in geometry problems. One is extending lines that exist in the problem, and the other is building parallel lines to important lines. We've got a base here, if we can get a parallel line to that base, we might be able to build a triangle that's similar to the triangle we care about. Now we have these two similar triangles. And yes, Harvey, they solved the problem. Because this triangle up here, we know this base. This is 10. And because this triangle is isosceles, this is half the base. This is 5. So this whole length is 15. And because these two lines are parallel, these two triangles are similar, and their ratio is 2 to 3. 10 to 15, that's just 2 to 3. So the ratio of this height to this height is 2 to 3, and the total height is 10. Total height is 10, it splits 2 to 3 ratio, that means the height of this is 4, the height of this is 6, so the height from here to here is 4, the base length is 10, the area is 4 times 10 divided by 2, and that is 20. And that's a wrap. Say goodbye to the students, Harvey. Can't take him anywhere.